really feel for the people of Puerto Rico, hoping they get a better result this Absolutely, time. and keeping an eye on it right now as they do start to see the first of these storms pushing through. Next up, Tropical Storm Isaias is going to move toward the Dominican Republic. That will be later today. The Bahamas will get these storms as it moves through tomorrow, and then you see this continuing toward Miami as we get into the weekend. Could potentially make landfall in Florida, but you always keep an eye on the entire Cone. This is a very large system. And so, as it does continue to come toward the coast, it could wobble a little bit. That can really impact where landfall actually is. So that's why the National Hurricane Center always puts out that cone, and we kind of just follow along the center track for an idea of where it's going to be heading. After Florida, it's going to continue up the east coast and then eventually back out to sea. But right now, we are also watching active weather in the lower plains. Parts of Oklahoma waking up to this severe thunderstorm warning. These storms packing potentially 50 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts and some heavy downpours. Also, we are starting to see some rain pushing into central Indiana. Indiana. We've only had a couple of sprinkles downtown so far, but more rain heading this direction. The heaviest of the rain so far has been moving through Flat Rock, St. Paul, getting to Milroy next. And then we also have had just a couple of broken showers near Bloomington. Terre Haute, you're about to see your next round of rain moving on in. We've also seen this picking up a little bit in Raccoon Lake. You will get another break here, though, before the next round does push in. It's going to be a rainy day, kind of the day you have to either grab the umbrella or head right back to bed because we will be dealing with this on and off all through the morning. And then by the time we make it to lunchtime, this rain's going to get heavier. Downpours moving through Indianapolis right around lunchtime, continuing on and off throughout the afternoon and not tapering off completely until well after sunset. Now, as for the moment, we're starting to see the sun rise, but we're also going to be tracking that rain moving on in. So if you have to leave soon, the sooner the better. Temperatures, though, not bad at all. We're at 75 degrees downtown, quite a bit warmer than we were this time yesterday morning. 74 in Shelbyville, same in Bloomington, Terre Haute, you're at 75. And not too much wind here as these Battle, these fronts do battle it out. 80 degrees going to be the forecast high for today. We will have those scattered storms on and off throughout the afternoon. Overall, just sleepy weather. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Rain going to continue to exit, low down to about 65. Then tomorrow, partly sunny. Still isolated storms possible. High, though, still below average, just topping off at about 81 degrees. Then we'll stay below average all the way into the weekend. 70s will dominate both Saturday and Sunday. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. And at 618, we are still smooth sailing across the board. I do want to check back in here on I-65, right near 865, near that Boone County line.